Good morning. Hope everyone's going to have a good day. How are you feeling, Stanley? Well, I think I'm in the yellow zone. I'm feeling anxiety, nervousness. Can you tell me why you're feeling that way? Well, I'm still kind of blue, but I have feelings that I can't really explain. I think a lot of people have feelings they can't explain right now. So, the best thing to do is talk about your feelings. And that's okay. It's okay to have all the feelings. Nobody should tell you that you can't have a feeling. Those are yours. But if you're feeling a certain way for a really long time, then it's important to find out why. Like if you're sad day after day after day, you need to talk to somebody and find out why you're feeling that way and express it so that you're not feeling so sad anymore. Okay. How do you change your feelings? That's a good question. Why well, change my feelings? by putting things into action. So yesterday we talked about why people are protesting. Now a protest is when a group of people come together to try to make change because they see something that's not working and they need their voices to be heard. And when things aren't working and people aren't listening, people go out in protest. So I felt that I needed to go out and experience a protest so I could talk to all of you about what is that? What's happening? And how do people feel? Oh, well, can you tell us how it made you feel? I can. So I found a group of friends that think the way that I do, that Black Lives Matter. And we decided to come together as a community. And your community is people in your neighborhood, your friends, your neighbors who live nearby you, who think the way that you do. And we came together as a group to talk about the issues that you're seeing on the news. Did it make you feel better? It did make me feel better. It made me feel like I was doing something, that I was letting other people know that I feel the same as them, that black lives matter, and that we need to make a change. And everyone came together in a peaceful protest, and we listened to a speaker, and we took our time to reflect and ask for change. And it was really a nice way for me to feel with, to change my feelings of how I was feeling sad or frustrated to show that I can do something. And there's things that everybody can do. And not everybody has to do the same thing. But we all have work to do. Thanks, Danny. You know, Stanley, I do these things for people like you. Like me? Yes. Like, you're a puppet with autism. You have something different. Something different that people can't see. Not all of our differences are visible. Yes, that's true. I do have autism. And that is what makes you special. Just like somebody's skin color makes them special. I mean, you're special because you have orange fur. Yes, I, I guess I am. Not too many people in the world get to have orange fur. But you have orange fur. But should people be mean to you just because you have orange fur? Well, that wouldn't be very nice. Should people be mean to you just because you have autism? Well, no, that wouldn't be very nice either. No. We all need to respect each other and take care of each other and make our community a place that is safe for everybody, where everybody feels heard and everybody feels respected. Thanks, Danny. So I encourage everyone out there to look for things in people that are similar to you, 
What makes us the same? But also look at the things that make us different and respect the things that make everybody different. And if you're confused about something, ask questions. Don't just go by what you hear somebody else tell you. Go up and be a part of your community. And hopefully each and every one of you will be able to make a positive change.